The Stuttgart Observatory Telescope is on the hunt for space junk, objects that race at eight kilometers per second across the sky. Thomas Dekorski and his research team want to measure the flight paths of this space debris. This is how the location system works. While a telescope scans and tracks debris in the sky, laser pulses are shot at individual pieces. The time it takes for the light to return to Earth tells researchers how far away a piece of space junk is. They can confirm the flight path from a combination of data. With this system, we can only observe pieces that are 10 centimeters across. We need stronger lasers and larger telescopes to look at the even smaller pieces. And there are lots of small pieces, more than 600,000, measuring between 1 and 10 centimeters. If one of them were to hit the solar wings of a satellite, it could paralyze the satellite's energy supply. And the debris cloud will continue to grow. In the coming years, thousands of new satellites will be launched. Experts fear the risk of collisions is growing. In 2009, two satellites were disabled. And they were subsumed into the junk cloud. That's why researchers want to put the brakes on the flying scrap with laser pulses, so it burns up in the Earth's atmosphere. Laboratory tests have already shown that this is feasible. Falling aluminum parts can be pushed off their flight path with a laser pulse. It's the first step toward waste management in space. We're looking at a time frame of 10 to 15 years. That's how long we'll need to develop the lasers and a station for them. This station will help to monitor the space debris more accurately. The researchers have installed their laser telescope in a container, which makes a cost-effective system that can be transported anywhere. They want to build a global monitoring network with stations like this to cope with the growing clouds of junk in space.